Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Gmail to GoDaddy domain in 2024. So today, we're diving into the process of connecting your Gmail email provider to your GoDaddy domain, providing you with professional email addresses that match your domain name. So stick around as I guide you through the steps of setting up a Gmail uh, for your GoDaddy domain in 2024. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go and sign in into both your GoDaddy and Gmail accounts. So go to gmail.com and go to godaddy.com. Of course, if it's your first time, as an example, you'll find yourself on Gmail in here and GoDaddy in here because in here I'm already logged in for Gmail and even GoDaddy. So if it's your first time in GoDaddy, you'll find like, okay, if you have a, like a problem in language in here, you can scroll down to the bottom and you can change language from here. You can choose, choose English. So like i'll just use the canada or where's the united states so united kingdom united states here is it i'll just choose that and as you can see here i'll be able to click on sign in to sign in into my account if you have an account click on sign in i'll be able to sign in with amazon apple facebook or google if i don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging in or even creating an account if you have an account you'll be able to do the same with those three options like facebook google or email if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account for Gmail, it will be the same. It will be the same. You'll have to enter your email and a password and you'll be logged into your account. So now, once you sign up into your both accounts, so to link this or to connect like the Gmail to GoDaddy domain, you will need uh, an option called Google Workspace, which is G Suite. So you'll have to go and log into your G Suite admin console. So go, open a new tab, go and type G Suite and hit the enter button. You'll find Google Workspace secure online productivity just click on it if you have the language problem just scroll down again click on language in here and look for english and click on that and as you can see you'll find yourself in here so make sure to go and click on get started to log in into your account if you have an account or a, to create a new account as an example so business name, business name i'll just type test just me uh, next name test as an example last name i'll just type test and the current email address, I'll just type the email address that I'm using here in my Gmail, which is this one. So basically, 222 at gmail.com and click on next. And as you can see, with your company address, how do you want to, of course, set up Google Workspace or with your Gmail address for me? I'll just go with my Gmail address, click on select. Of course, first of all, sorry, you can even see the details. First of all, you can use for this one, yeah, custom email address, extend and engage video calls, shared calendars and users, uh, add users to your subscription, more storage for every user added, security and management con uh, controls. For this one, you'll be able to continue with address, extend and engage in video calls, one terabyte of secure cloud storage, easy appointment scheduling and professional email campaign. So for me, I'll just select that with Gmail. And as you can see, you will start your 14 days free trial. Uh, so it's zero. So you'll have to enter first of all your credit card. And of course, you'll have to pay $10 monthly, but you will get a 14 days free trial. And you can even sign up for occasional emails from Google Workspace if you want to. So for me, I'll just go here and click on subscribe. Of course, you will have to enter the security code of your card uh, before like doing so. And once you enter that, as an example, it will check it will like keep doing that so the card issuer declined your payments declines are for due to sufficient fund or card status so check your card or select a different payments method and or learn about the climate card so for me i'm not going to do all of that basically here you'll have to go and log in into your account and what you'll need to do is simply in the admin console you'll have to look at the option verify domain ownership or set up gmail follow the prompt and verify the ownership of your godaddy domain you'll have to even if you want to transfer the domain ownership from GoDaddy to in here, you'll be able to do that. You can set up the MX and you'll typically, of course, have the option to verify via the NS records or CML file upload. And next, you'll need to update like the MX or mail exchange records in your GoDaddy account. So go to GoDaddy, go to your products and access your MX records and your domain name. So 
like just go to it and set up of course those mx like records on godaddy add the additional dns records and verify the mx records and then set up the email account access your gmail interface and test the email communication to ensure everything is working correctly just send it like send this emails both internally and externally and verify that emails are being sent and received successfully you can even use your godaddy domain uh, email addresses also to do so and yeah like that's gonna be it so you can access of course and your mx records and make sure to change them and like you'll be good to go so of course other than that you'll be able let me just go and check if there's an option where you can automate a lot of stuff using the zapier so first of all just go to zapier.com log into your account if you have an account if you don't have an account just go and create a new one then simply go to the slash panel click on apps and of course we'll have to look for gmail gmail or Z here like i'm using it and we'll have to look for godaddy i don't know if it's godaddy in here just go and do that so yeah it seems like godaddy is not here so i'll not be able to use the zapier of course if you're like wondering what is the zapier the zapier is just a tool where you'll be able to automate stuff and it's actually very very good you can automate like sending emails you can automate a lot of stuff i've used it on a lot of previous previous videos you can go and check it out by your own and check what it's about it's actually very very useful so normally the direct way is simply go in and log in in both your accounts google it in uh, gmail go to the google workspace or g suite log in into that account and verify the domain ownership you can locate of course the option verify donor ownership or set up a gmail and follow the prompt to verify ownership for of your godaddy domain then set up the mx records or a uh, mail exchange records in godaddy and you can access your godaddy account and navigate to the dns management and section and add the mx rec uh, records provided by g suits you can additional uh, add any additional dns records Verify the MX records and set up the emails and access the emails interface and then test the email communication and you'll be good to go. So there you have it. You successfully connected your Gmail to your GoDaddy domain in 2024, providing you with the professional email address powered by Google Robust email platform. So if you encounter any issues during this setup uh, process, don't hesitate to reach out to the workspace supports. And if you have any question or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do this as soon as possible. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And thank you for watching again. And I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.